Hello everyone and welcome back to Borderlands. So last time I th said I was going to decide on my skill and I think I'm going down this gunslinger tree. Um, what seemed important to me was... Now this one has some very nice uh, sniping skills. But I don't snipe that much at this point. Um, maybe it'll change as the game continues a little. I really don't quite know but... Um, this tree has a um, a nice skill supporting pistols, which I have quite a few very nice ones of, um, of which I have quite a few nice ones. That's better. And um, as I go down, it also has increased crit damage, which is obviously good, even with a sniper. And then as I go down further, it would also have um, a heal on kill, so if I kill enemies, I heal myself a little bit. I can decrease the cooldown of Bloodwing. I can make pistols even stronger, which should be repeaters and uh, revolvers. And, um, yeah, Relentless for the final thing is also a very nice skill. Uh, basically, whenever I kill an enemy, I become noticeably more useful for a short amount of time. So then I'm dealing uh, more damage, I have fire rate increased as well. Now these guys are not giving me as much experience anymore, obviously, because I'm now at a higher level. And they just keep respawning these guys. Including those really annoying badasses. really like this revolver if it had a larger magazine size. That would be lovely. <laughs> oh, that was uh, definitely not what I wanted. I just wanted all the monies. Okay, there's an enemy that way. Maybe up here? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm now actually looking for the strong box, by the way, and I decided that... I guess my timer seems to be a little strange. I clicked twice, I believe, so that instantly paused it. Um, yeah, because I was running around a bit like a headless chicken for most of that last episode, um, I'm just going to open the strong box, and then after that I'm going to... Ooh. Uh, the three keys open the strong box. Inside you find some sort of map. The map marks your location in the Dahl headland. Perhaps something is hidden there. Bandit treasure X marks the spot. The ragged map in the strong box marks a location in the Dahl headland. The bandit's dying wish was that his treasure not fall into the hands of the Crimson Lands. You feel duty bound to grant the man's final request by taking it for yourself. Which does sound like a good deal for everyone involved apart from the Crimson Lands who do not deserve one. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to go after the smoke signals, which again, there are some easy visual indicators on your screen as to where those can be found. Uh, oh, team ammo regeneration. That always looks very nice, but let me check out how good my current shield is, because I don't think it's very good. 366, 41, and small acid burst, okay. Oh, the meat grinder, war is in your blood, I have to check that out. I, by the way, did not check out the what the weapons do between this and last episode, I'm sorry. Um, but, if I remember, I'll do it for next time. No promises, of course. Okay, this can go. It has a huge magazine, uh, and it, it, 
I don't know, it, it doesn't look that bad. Maybe I'll use it. Mm, probably not, but you never know. And by the way, it might be that that uh, rebel, which says, the, the gun I mean, um, which says never stop shooting, it might just refer to the fact that it has increased magazine size. Not all of those special attributes are really that great. Some of them are just kind of slight buffs, I guess. Okay, and I can't buy the SDUs because I already have them. Now, this quest obviously wants me to go to the Dal Headland, so back to the smoke signals. And I'm just going for that one over there next. And I'm hoping, because of how much I've already cleared, that I will have a slightly easier time with a slightly decreased amount of enemies, maybe. But there should still be some around here. Especially those were the bad asses that killed me. Darn. Just as I was going to blow up those crates. Whoa! Did not even see that grenade. You know. Not bad. Not bad. And I do get some health back. But yeah, I was gonna say there was an engineer here as well. Who was also pretty badass. Oh, look, more of them. They just keep coming and coming and coming. This one's is not... Okay, this one's not a badass, though. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Now, turn off the smoke signals. Yes, I wouldn't mind. Thank you. And that's a big industry thing in the background, which isn't actually one of the smoke signals I have to turn down off. Um, looks like the skies are clear. There's another one that way. Which makes me think there might be more enemies that way. And yes, I am aware that I did not do a very good job in uh, in the Old Haven so far. And oh look, more enemies. I have a bird. Okay, got an achievement for that. Probably because I'm using corrosive weapon. A corrosive weapon, should I should say. Uh, oh, there you are. Wow. It should also be noted, I turned the music back on, supposedly only the intro music is troublesome. And if this, uh, if this proves to not be the case, I'll just turn it off again. But a little bit of music, I thought, might, uh, might help to make it a little more exciting. Hmm. 
Okay, so how am I meant to get up there? Am I meant to get up there? There's a smoke signal back there. Okay, I'll just go for that now. Up, up. And now only one is missing. Okay, that's back there. I just saw someone. Okay, as the engineer dies, by the way, so does his Scorpio turret. Um, how do I get behind this? Not this way. Through here, no. Can I jump over, maybe? Oh, hey. I think I found the way. promising okay so I still have an active quest though which is to find the treasure those bandits have buried somewhere it's in a different area though a very early one actually I've already been there a long long time ago It's the Dahl Headlands. Which, they weren't quite the first area we visited, but they were very early on. Well, fairly early on anyway. Okay, there's one guy back there. Who's now dead. Did these guys respawn? Did that take so long? I don't know how how their respawn timers are in this game. I know in uh, Borderlands 1, if you are reasonably slow, it can take multiple... Um... Why would I say multiple? Uh, multiple enemies can respawn, basically. So you have to fight the same enemy multiple times. That's where the word multiple came from. Okay. So do I have some peace now? Ideally hope so, because I'm just leaving. Uh, Arid Badlands, Let's just Dahl Headland, Lucky Last Chance, Watering Hole. So they weren't that early, I guess. I kind of, uh, I overspoke. Middle of the game, let's just say middle of the game. It's before, before we faced Mad Mel, we found those. And this is where Skagzilla used to live, unless I'm much mistaken. Nothing to do here, though. This is the new U station, and I want the catcher ride. Catcher ride! Get our feet out of the dust. Now, I need to head. Yes, I need to select the correct quest, of course. And they want me to go. No, look, a level 18 Outrider. You are no longer a problem. You are now... You have been downgraded to a nuisance. Okay. Um. So do I just jump down here? 
Looks like I do. Up. You've discovered a strong box like the one in Old Haven. It opens using the same three, three keys. Inside are various personal mementos from the brother's childhood, which should fetch a decent price in New Haven. There's also a kick-ass gun. Give me something good. Yeah. It's not really a kick-ass gun. But anyway. Um, I suspect there's nothing more to do here. I could fetch some money. And now. I have some quests to turn in in the Rust Commons East. At the uh, middle of nowhere. Taylor Corp. Helena Pierce. Well, Helena Pierce is in New Haven. But you get the point. So I should now just drive, drive back. And um, I think Taylor Cobb does not have his own fast travel station close to him. But the others should have. There's definitely one in New Haven and there's one next to the middle of nowhere bounty board. That should definitely be doable this uh, this episode. And we do have combat music, but let's just pretend like we don't. Middle of nowhere. There we go. Yes, loot is color-coded by rarity from least to most rare. White, green, blue, purple, orange. And I'm not quite certain if they introduced the light blue pearlescent items already or if they have the light blue color already in this game. I actually believe they do exist, but um, as I said, I don't know whether they have their own color. Okay, uh, judging by the chicken scratches on the pamphlets, those bandits are about as literate as three-year-olds. Nevertheless, they are, total, they are total zealots. Something's going on and we need to take action before they gain a following. Oh, uh, excellent work. I will begin testing these samples right away. Perhaps this study will eventually lead to profitable agriculture on Pandora. Here's your, your reward for helping an old chemist with his bug problem. And Alter Ego Godless Monsters is our next quest. We have to... Um, I don't know where the main story will continue, so I will uh, fast travel back to New Haven first. Because I think the Janus Cop mission, killing him and such, uh, is going to lead us further into the main story. So, New Haven. Shotguns are highly effective against swooping rack attacks. Well, honestly, rack are not that much trouble. Except for that one really big one, moth rack. He was kind of, kind of a pain. Everything else, though. Mm. Though I am slightly worried about the difficulty I had fighting the Crimson Lands. Maybe I should practice. Or get better guns. The negative element around here. Thank you, here's the reward I promised. By the way, I contacted Steele. Without mentioning your name, I told her there was an attack on New Haven residents. She tells me her men were acting on their own. My ass. I know she wants to turn New Haven into another land's fiefdom, just like Sanctuary. We'll see about that. Uh, here's your payment for services rendered. Now that those beacons are active again, hopefully somebody other than Atlas Corp can access the interplanetary communications network. Getting back in touch with the neighboring systems should do wonders for the local economy. The Crimson Lance, another group of outsiders. This doesn't bode well. Yeah, I think they are going to be the kind of final group of enemies. Um. So yeah, go to the trashy knoll, find Slither, and kill it. Um. After looking at those pamphlets you collected, I'm fairly certain there's something interesting out there. Their crude drawings show stick figures gathered around some kind of monster named Slither. Maybe if you kill their god, they'll abandon this whole religious scheme. I somehow doubt it's going to be quite that easy, but you never know. Uh, Rust comes... East. Mm. Sorry, I hope my yawning wasn't too intense. Uh, 
Where is that slither figure? Not too far away. Definitely car range, of course, because even 10 meters would be car range in this game. But we should be able to do that fairly quickly. Maybe even this episode. Depends on how much resistance I meet, I guess. Um, yeah, need to go around. I've been here before, I'm just very bad at nav navigating places. I have almost no sense of direction. And since we're here, and the enemies here should be a little more... ...manageable, I think I can go back to the Savage Masher. And there's Slither, um, once I can see him. Oh, it's a... It's a scythe head, but a nasty one, well. That was it? That's, that's what they were worshipping? And it should be noted, while I am at a stage where the quest is considered normal, it's not actually considered trivial. Um, don't care about that scythe hit. Um, oh, that spider ant worker, really. Just want to check. This is where I have to go. Okay. As I said, no sense of direction whatsoever. Literally, it's almost... It's almost like I didn't know where I was. Which is pretty much a permanent state for me. I think I want to go over that... Uh, bridge though yeah whatever and then turn right and keep heading down that way Go the long way around. Somewhere here. And have to try not to crash into anything, that would be lovely. Yeah, but it should be should be possible to do it this episode. get some purples at least. Um, so how about I toss some white ones. Dut, dut, dut. There we go. Now I can pick up those purples. It's not a bad revolver. I don't so much like those uh, those really small magazine ones. Didn't I just drop some stuff? Oh, I did, but apparently because of stuff given to me by quests, I'm still full. So fine, take all those grenades don't like them anyway. And... 
not the worst of um, assault rifles, really. Or combat rifles, whatever. Okay. And I am almost up to a million dollars. Well, almost at 900,000, which is close to a million. Uh, can I help you? Thank you. You understand why a man can't kill his own brother. But bounty hunters are another matter. At any rate, this is the beginning of a new era. Soon, Janustown will be known as Taylor Town. I can sense the improvement already. Okay... So, I guess next time we can do this quest, but... Um, is there anything up here? Just, I suspect that this won't open until I've kind of done a few quests for the guy. Yeah. See this this little bandit claptrapy thing? Oh look, it's another stinking flesh bag. Unless you have something Taylor Cobb needs to hear, you can bugger off like all you other walking shit containers. Why thank you. What a lovely little guy. There, have fun with that. Okay. Um, but yeah, I suspect this is a good point to cut anyway. Next time we'll continue doing those quests and then... Uh, I don't know. I don't think there's that much more left to the game. At least the main game. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you then. Bye bye.